Sorry. Hey! Everybody on the slate. Mark! When the competition's over, it's hard to keep our judges out of the kitchen after hours. Well, look what the cat dragged in. So excited, Ted. I feel like I'm on Food TV Cribs. My new kitchen. <laughs> so you've all encountered this basket before as judges. We have, indeed. Yes, we have. Now, Manit, Arona, Alex, you get to use all your chefy powers to help it realize its true potential. This, of course, was the appetizer basket for our special mac and cheese competition. So we've got old school mac and cheese in the box, Canadian bacon, Swiss chard, and monkfish. So what do you think about that combination? Good stuff. I like this basket a lot. So the mac and cheese does not disturb you at all? Not at all. <laughs> You're all good with the orange powder. If someone doesn't use that little bag of powder in here, total cop out, you're chopped. Oh, really? Damn. Just as a reminder, you only get 20 minutes. Yeah. Can you say those magic words, please? 20 minutes, time starts now. Okay. Keep it down over there. I'm trying to chill. Bye, Chef. Alex, if I may pay you a little visit, what are you doing here? I am studying my monkfish steak okay. with the Canadian bacon to get that flavor of the meat into the fish. And so I'm, I'm going right in, Ted, for the dreaded packet. Can you give us a dish title yet? Yes, I'm going to make a Canadian bacon studded monkfish steak with a camembert mac and cheese sauce with macaroni Swiss chard. I'm going full on uh, blasphemy and anarchy. Dogs and cats living together, Ted. It's anarchy in the CK, the chopped kitchen. That's I it. love it. Hey, Aron. How you doing, man? So, uh, what you cooking? I'm gonna make uh, escabeche. Escabeche! It's a very traditional Spanish preparation of sort of like vinegar fish or south fish, they call it in the Caribbean. Yeah. Smelling good, sir. Thank you, puppy. And your food smells good as well. Thank you. Right. All right, what are you up to, my lady? I am actually going to be making a kind of a korma sauce. Right. Uh, korma is one of the traditional Indian sauces, and it is a nut-based sauce. So I'm going to play off the orange stuff right. along with the saffron and the cashew. And I'm going to top it up with a, a dolmas. It's oh, Swiss you're going to use the chart to roll them up? To around. roll up uh, the fish. I love it. OK, my chef friends, 14 minutes to cook. Ah. Did someone gank the saffron? You're not using saffron, are you? I am. No. You've been saffron. Is that mostly butter, like a brown butter? All butter. All butter. And a lot of time. Is there any risk of getting that butter too brown when you're doing this? You won't because of all the water in the fish. OK, OK. Alex is using a really classic old school technique that Scott Conant loves to use and probably most French inspired chefs use all the time. She's cooking her fish in butter and herbs, thyme. And as you can see, she was taking that spoon and just constantly basting and basting and basting. Really great way uh, to get a lot of flavor and look at the beautiful color that she's got on that fish. Amazing stuff. All right, judges, you've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to go. The Swiss chard has been blanched. I'm going to be putting the filling in, just putting it together. I'll, I will need to work on a salad on top of that. I think other than that, I might just barely make it. All right, chefs, five minutes to go. Five minutes. I need to cook my pasta, finish my sauce, finish my fish, chop herbs, put the tomatoes in the chart, and plate everything. Good chat. I'm a little concerned, actually, to be honest. I don't know if my escabeche is going to cool down in time. Are you going to make it in time? If you stop asking me that! <laughs> All right, Manit, how's it going? Look at that! Wow! So far, so Give good. Give me a smile, Manit. Nice. Ha ha, I am gonna make it! Check it out. Check it out. Why don't you come over here and help me, man? Hey, 
Hey, you're wrong. You're done? Yeah. All right, let's take a selfie, dude. Dude, look at all these losers. Look at all these losers. They're still working. You want to go chill? You look really... Come on, let's take a load off. This is a great time to savor, you know, all the hard work and... Uh, you know what happens to contestants that finish early, son? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you know the place yet. Aaron, you want to take turns counting down the final 10 seconds with me? Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Time's up! Please yes. step back! Oh. Step it on back! Okay, let's eat. Sit down. Hello, Monique. The word eat is in her name. I know. And my name backwards is Nora. Huh. Let's eat, Ted. Let's eat. I know. <laughs> this, to me, looks like a white wine dish. Yes. Right on. So we've got old school mac and cheese in the box, Canadian bacon, Swiss chard, and monkfish. So what do we have, Mini? I have made a uh, mac and monkfish dolmas. And that's a cashew, saffron, and uh, green cardamom korma sauce. Of course. Oh, wow, there's macaroni in there, OK. <laughs> and I actually did make a apple and Swiss chard stem slaw right on top to give a little bit of freshness. OK, mm. awesome. That's good. By virtue of you wrapping it, it stayed moist, the monkfish. It's wonderful. It's very tender. I can't remember the last time I said I like green apples and mac and cheese together, but yeah. it's delicious. Yeah, I agree with Alex. I love the apple salad, the freshness of that. I wanted something to set off the heaviness of uh, the entire dish. So, Aron, what have you made, sir? So I have monkfish escabeche with a saffron, sherry vinegar dressing. Mm, that looks delicious. That, isn't that good? Really, really good. I put some wow. saffron in there. I'm jealous of you. And dish. some coriander? Yep, coriander as well. I actually put the cheese uh, powder inside and having flavor the sort of the, the vinegar or the brine, if you will. By the way, I love the cilantro. Isn't that nice? And this is just bracingly acidic uh, with one wow. of my favorite vinegars, sherry. I mean, it's literally making me pucker, and I love it. Isn't that good? It's so oh good. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So, Alex, what'd you make? Canadian bacon studded monkfish with a marsala mac and cheese sauce and chard. Mm. The dish is beautiful. It is. So inviting. That is incredibly rich and beautiful. And who says you can't have cheese with fish? The fish tastes almost roasted. You taste the brown butter that you just basted it with again and again and again and again. I just wanted to have fun with the fish because I thought this fish is beautiful. This was just the insides of an entire camembert with the cheese sauce and marsala. Well, box mac and cheese never tasted so good. Nice work, my friends. Did you like this judge's bonus round? There are more at foodnetwork.com slash chopped.